Hey, everybody, we are back. Our third show tonight. And guess what? It's me, old Jeffers. I've got three great guests joining me tonight Moxie, Adina, and Wise. We're going to meet them all in the second round. But as you know, on this show, we get right into that theme music. We didn't really plan it, but and you saw in all those thumbnails, we always do a toast just for good luck to good sportsmanship. If you got a drink, uh, hold it up. We'll say we're getting ready to do this. And tonight with my three guests, I've got a special game planned. Uh, we have some scientists, some authors, some media moguls on tonight. I thought, well, it sounds like doctors and science to me. So in round one tonight, we're going to play a game of quotes. It's a 50-50 guess. It's a nice way to warm up. It's going to be one or another person i'll read you a quote you have to tell me who said that quote was it dr strange dr stephen strange or dr emmett brown everybody says i love back to the future <laughs> i am honored that almost every show so far this whole event has somehow referenced back to the future um that should be the easter egg that we're doing is who said what back to the future thing in their show but my order tonight is going to be Moxie, Adina, and Wise. Moxie, you're first, and your your quote will be, you can't go losing your judgment every time someone calls you a name. That's exactly what causes you to get into that accident in the future. Oh, well, that one, thankfully, kind of gave itself away. Mm -hmm. That would be Doc Brown. Though I was uh, thinking, uh, that's what happened to your idiot cousins, but that was a different Christopher <laughs> Lloyd role. That is... Correct, correct. Moxie with the first point of the night. Over to Adina. What in the name of Sir Isaac H. Newton happened here? Did Doc Brown or Dr. Strange say that? Oh my gosh, why is this so hard <laughs> already? I know Doc Brown didn't say that in the first movie. I know the first movie really well, so but not so much the others. So I'm just going to say Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange is incorrect. It oh. is Doc Brown. Doc Brown said that. Over to Wise. No man should know too much about their own destiny. Was that Dr. Strange or Dr. Oh. Emmett Brown? <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy because you can go for either one, <laughs> but... um. That's why I choose these ones. <laughs> and they're all going to be like that. <laughs> um, let's go with Doc Brown. Doc Brown is correct. Doc Brown is correct. We have a tie. Moxie and Wise with one. Back to Moxie. We all have to make decisions that affect the course of our lives. Oh, I'm at a real disadvantage here because I bailed on comic book movies after the first Spider-Man. <laughs> and that's a good one because that one could go either way. But uh, he served me well the first time. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to stick with Doc Brown. Doc Brown. Did I go four Doc Browns in a row? Yes, I did. Doc Brown again. The amazing double bluff. Over to Adina. Okay, this has to be Doctor Strange, right? No matter what, because when you have done five, this, that's that how the show works. Head. It's got to be. It means your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Well, you know, I'm just gonna roll the dice and Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is incorrect right. i knew he went six in a row i knew he did <laughs> i did five in a row well oh, i've done six let's see wise oh, man. don't make the same mistake i did <laughs> we never lose our demons we only learn to live with them doc strange dr strange is correct two for two each have two more remaining back to moxie 
Don't shut me out. I haven't got anywhere else to go. Thank you. Is that uh, Doctor Strange or Doc Brown? So he's on the back foot over he is. Let's change it up. Let's guess Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, no full in Moxie. That is oh, correct. Okay. Correct. No, I got... He said no, and I began to emote. <laughs> Over to Adina. Don't talk to anyone. Don't touch anything. Don't do anything. Don't interact with anyone. And try not to look at anything. That sounds like Doc Brown. Doc Brown. And we have another saying on the show. The first point is the toughest. Adina, you are on the board. Woohoo! <laughs> Over to Wise. Yeah, well, I could help, but so could 50 other people. Find me something worth my time. Doc Strange. Doc Strange is also correct. Three for three. Back to Moxie, your last one in round one. I could have ended up in the Dark Ages. They probably would have burned me at the stake as a heretic or something. I'm going to go with Doc Brown only because I think Strange could have gotten himself out of it. Oh, powerful Doc Strange. It is Doc Brown. You are correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> That was a weird way to tell you that you were correct, but yeah. I got I got to the <laughs> we point. Got, we, got, we got there in the end is what matters. <laughs> yeah, and you went four for four in round one. Very nice. Adina, the time traveling is just too dangerous. Better that I devote myself to the study of other great mysteries of the universe. Women. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> It's a terrible mm. line, regardless of whose it was. Well, yes, I will agree with that. And so in the third movie, right, that's when Doc Brown does meet the woman and in, in, in gets married. Um, so it, but no, I don't, I don't remember him saying that. I don't, so I have to, I'm going to go with Doc Strange because I don't remember Brown saying that. It is. Doc Brown. It is <laughs> Doc Brown. Say that. <laughs> Tisk, 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 Doc Brown. Guess what are we watching this weekend? I've got some yeah. homework, apparently. <laughs> the trilogy is coming out. <laughs> and our last one in round one to Wise. Well, it's everything you've ever wanted. Eternal life as part of the one. You're not going to like it. Doc Strange. Doc Strange is correct. Let's go over to that scoreboard. We have real-time <laughs> scoring. We finally invested in Google Sheets. We have Moxie with four, Wise with four, Adina with one. And on this show, when you have a different score than the other two players, the person with the odd score gets to pick the order for the next round. Mm -hmm. So, Adina, do you want to keep it the same or mix it up? Let's mix it up. I like to mix things up. All right. So let's, we'll do Wise, then Moxie, then me. All right. Also should let you know that some of them could be grouped together in easier or more difficult patterns. So you have put the fate in your own hands. And because this is an hour long show, we're going to do a bonus second round. So we're actually going to do four rounds tonight, but we always meet my guests in between the first and second round, no matter how many rounds we're going to do. I've got Moxie from Your Brain on Facts. Uh, and also should know everybody has been on the show before, but we're going to meet them again. Uh, Moxie, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to be back. We got you back. You, I think you won your first time on, and uh, if, if I, not, that's what I'm going to claim. <laughs> that's what I. That's how I remember it. Uh, Moxie has a, a tremendous podcast. I've I've told you before. I, one of the best voices in podcasting and and voiceovers I've heard. Uh, if you're not listening to your brain on facts, I'll let, I'll let Moxie tell you about her show, and uh, I, I'm just. Uh, I, I love it. It's a great show. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, Your Brain on Facts is your weekly half hour of things you never knew you never knew. Everything from the history of the nursing profession to the Balinese funeral rite David Bowie requested to the theft of Canada's strategic maple syrup reserve. Because, of course, Canada has 
a strategic maple syrup reserve. You, if you prefer something in a more papery format, you can also get the Your Brain on Facts book, two thirds of which is exclusive content. And if you just like listening to me talk, you can hire me for voiceovers at moxielabouche.com. Very good. It's yourbrainonfacts.com and moxielabouche.com. Uh, everybody, check her out. It's phenomenal. Great podcast. Like and subscribe. Uh, you will want to review it after you hear it. Uh, Your Brain on Facts. Uh, welcome back to the show, Moxie. Thanks so much. And we're moving over to Adina, also returning, also an author, also a podcaster. Adina, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. My name is Adina Mignona. And well, first, I'm a science fiction author of Crazy Foolish Robots, which came out last year. And it's going to be followed up with its sequel, or well, the second book in the series, Robots, robots everywhere. This is my my proof copy because this comes out in just just under a month from now, and there will be a book three and a book four in the not too distant future. And a few months ago, uh, me and a couple of folks we started the Big Sci Fi Podcast when we're on Google and Spotify. We're very heavily Star Trek based, but we talk about Star Wars and really anything science fiction. We had a whole episode recently on just virtual reality. We had a whole episode on the old movie Forbidden Planet. Uh, so, but we go we go everywhere in in the science fiction universe, and we'll be continuing on for for quite a while. And that's. Mostly it. Oh yes, I work with satellites during the day. I do all the stuff, you know, outside of outside of the day job. And I, I think also for fun, you, you the last time we spoke, you were building a cat robot. I was, <laughs> I was. Unfortunately, like, um, so she's sitting there right there on my shelf. Uh, I have not had a chance to actually program her, so she's just a, an inert, an, an inert <laughs> cat robot. Uh, but yes, I I do those all those kinds of things. And that was through your uh, email newsletter. Are you, are you still doing the email newsletter? Yep. Yeah, so, so you got, if you go to adinamignona.com, you can sign up for my newsletter, see my blog, because and interact. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. And Wise, uh, Wise is a three-time or four-time champion. Did I get uh, it wrong? Three-time. No, three-time. Three-time. <laughs> You're going for the four. Yes. I know you, you've tried once before, but didn't make it. No, I did not. Welcome I think, I think you had it rigged for me, though. I think you had it rigged, though. I think you... you, and, you and, <laughs> for the folks at home that was the only episode where i did not give you the questions in advance yes that's it that, that was it <laughs> <laughs> that's a running joke uh uh, uh wise has a, a friend that uh, i think it is friend or my nephew your nephew uh pappy j who just always in the background saying wise is cheating wise is cheating <laughs> so uh welcome back wise where are you calling in from uh pennsylvania pocono mountains awesome welcome back tell us a little about wise productions and stuck in my mind podcast uh, well, stuck in my mind podcast. It's uh, just have people come on, have conversation. We have authors, entrepreneurs, uh, coaches, and we basically discuss mental health, all different types of topics. And then uh, Real Wise Productions, we uh, we just launched that uh, last year. Uh, we're trying to help people start podcasts who don't want to go through the trouble that we went through when we started. So. And then we have our uh, Real Wise Radio as well. Very good. Uh, Real Wise, wait, is that running 24 hours a day? 24 hours a day, yes, sir. How can people find that and listen? Uh, we, have, we we go to realwiseradio.com, or you can download the app on uh, Google or um, Apple. Awesome, awesome. Moxie Adina Wise, thank you so much for joining us at the Trivia and Game Summit. We are live on the main stage, and... We're going to go into our bonus second round. This is one we're going to squeeze in the middle just to fill up the hour, but the we're going to add to the competition. It's a game I like to play called Try Bonds. I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a set of three words, and those three words will all tie together to be something. So, for example, if I were to say elephant, tree, and car, all three of those things have a trunk trunk there we go very good like, oh, we didn't even rehearse that that was pretty good usually i rehearse that before the show starts <laughs> so uh adina pick the order it's gonna go wise moxie adina wise your first tribe on spring salt mineral what ties together spring salt and mineral water Types of water is correct. Correct. Over to Moxie. 
Lincoln, Ford, Dodge. I mean, they're just makes of cars, right? M makes of cars is correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got you overthinking things now. <laughs> and Adina, Cream, Sharp, Cottage. Cheese. Cheese is correct. Back to Wise. Dinger, four bagger, round tripper. Home run. Home runs is correct. Moxie, football plays, hugs and kisses, tic tac toe. They're depicted with X's and O's. X's and O's is correct. Do we have time for a bonus fact? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you know why the X symbolizes a kiss? In the days before literacy was widespread, if people had to sign a legal document or a contract, most couldn't even sign their names. They would sign with an X. They would make a mark and then kiss the paper uh, to seal their pledge. And so the X became a kiss. I think the O became a hug just because it's a different shape, but I didn't get too far into the research <laughs> of that part. Well, very nice. Thank you for sharing. Well, we know half of it. <laughs> Over to Adina, Superfly, The Body, The Macho Man. Superfly, The Body, The Macho Man. I feel like they're um, sort of anti-superheroes, but that doesn't sound right. Is that your answer? <sighs> It, it, it is not. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a better one. <laughs> There's a lot of spandex still, I'll tell you that much. Superfly, the body, the macho man. I think I'm overthinking this too, because I, I the body is not is not a macho man should give it away. Yeah, macho man. <laughs> well, I love it when the contestants, everybody's helping each other. When you say macho man, I'm I'm thinking YMCA. Like macho, uh... macho. That that <laughs> that's what I'm thinking Ooh, with macho man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> we, have a three say, sec, we have a weird three second timer that just shows up every once in a while. I'm looking for the three second timer. No, I, I, I don't think I, I don't think I know. Wait, oh, I would say all of these would be in quotation marks. Yes. They had three, two, I'll give you two three second timers. They are all. <laughs> Names of professional, professional wrestlers. wrestlers oh. yes. Jimmy Superfly, Snooka, Snooka. Jesse Labonte, Body Ventura, Ventura, and Randy and Macho Man Savage. Things Macho. I might not know anything about. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We're going back to Wise. I have Fire, Nut, Saltine. Fire, Nut, Saltine. This one I know. <laughs> cracker. Cracker. Firecracker. Nutcracker. Saltine crackers is correct. Moxie. A jellyfish. A squid. A coward. Things that are spineless. Spineless. Correct. Adina. Uh, toilets. Eyes. Trash cans. <laughs> Things my toddler is obsessed with. <laughs> that is true. Uh, kids love to go to the bathroom. All the everywhere. Oh, and and the well, and the garbage and yeah, everything. Not go to the bathroom. I mean, like play with the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, oh, my okay, girl, we, were, we would go to restaurants. My girls, we would call them potty inspectors because every restaurant we went to, we had to go to the restroom. Like, hey, that's some, important because if they don't keep the bathrooms clean, imagine what the kitchen looks like. That's right. <laughs> so I'm actively like potty training right now. So I, I do have that on the brain. Um, so you're using toilets. We are eyes, using toilets. And we're trying cans. to use the toilets. <laughs> we, we, we got one success and one fail today. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. That's like the first uh, round, 50%. It's uh, so like one step forward, one step back. Um, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a toilet's toilet, eyes and trash can. Eyes, trash Things with can. lids. Things with lids is correct. 
back to wise your last one i stalled just enough <laughs> <laughs> i think you might have got a hint from adina on this one oh wise a basketball player a soccer player a baby a basketball player a soccer player or a baby and a baby <laughs> and a baby <laughs> and a baby Basketball player, a soccer player, and a baby. Oh man! Well, it was... there was an early Sega basketball game. That this was uh, one of the two words in the title. Oh man! It was a big arcade Dribble. game. Dribble, double dribble. Sorry, is... you can give him my point if you need to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wise, four for four. Moxie. I just want Crypt... everybody to have a good time. <laughs> Krypton, radon, oxygen. Well, they're gases. Are we looking for anything more specific than that? I'm just looking for gases. That is gases correct. They are. And Adina, around the world, walk the dog. Rock the baby. Uh, yo yo. Yo yo. <laughs> yo yo is correct. That's what I do. Now, that was a great round. Only one question was missed the entire time. You almost swept. We had four, three, and four. We have <coughs> and Wise still tied neck and neck. Adina is right there. Let's wait till you hear about the final round. But before we get to the final round, Adina's going to pick the order again yay! because we're going to the hot seats. This is the round where each of my contestants sit in the hot seat. I'm going to give you four questions, and the answers to those four questions tie together to answer a fifth question. Then I'll put 10 seconds on the clock, and you have 10 seconds to name five things that fit into that category. It could be name five spices in your spice cabinet, and then I'll give you 10 seconds. So, Adina, what is the order you'd like to use tonight? Hmm. Okay, I, I still want to go go last. Okay. So, <laughs> let's say, uh, so we'll switch it up the other way. So, Moxie, Wise, then me. Moxie, Wise, and Adina will be my order. Moxie, you're going to the hot seat first. We'll bring you over. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. You're going to get the first set of questions as assigned to you by Adina. Uh, all complaints can go to Adina Mignona. <laughs> Adina right. Mignona.com. Yeah. Well, I'll be cyber stalking you immediately. I actually got your website up while you were talking. Earlier. Oh, look at Excellent. that. All right, Moxie. Which flower is the most sacred and symbolic for Buddhists? Self-rising. Uh, no, uh, the lotus. Lotus is correct. Your second clue, which snake is famous for spitting venom at its enemies? Well, there's a spitting cobra. Cobra is correct. What type of bride was Tim Burton's Virginia in his stop motion film? Uh, the corpse bride. Corpse bride is correct. And name the mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. Body of a lion and the head of a human. The only other one I can think of with a lion is the manticore. So I'm just going to have to say manticore. Manticore. Incorrect. I'm looking for the oh, sphinx. Sphinx. The sphinx. Sphinx. So. Right. What Except the sphinx as we picture it is not actually the sphinx because <laughs> the word sphinx didn't exist for another 2,000 years after that statue was built. But that's neither here nor there. I accept your judgment. <laughs> I, I love it. Like <laughs> That's fine. It's okay. It's okay to be historically inaccurate. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's great. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever you want to do, dear. It's fine. <laughs> All right. What, what ties together lotus, cobra, corpse, and sphinx? Well, I will say of them, the corpse is is my favorite these are all yoga poses yoga poses is correct you got the four the, the, the corpse is the one where you get to just cop a quick nap during class <laughs> that, that's an easy way to get yeah. to sneak a nap in 
All right. Uh oh, I got uh, the fans are already revolting. Give Mox <laughs> the point. She's smarter than you. <laughs> uh, we will keep it as four points. Now, Moxie, I have a name five bonus question for you. I'll read you the category and I'll start the clock. You have 10 seconds to tell me. Name five fluids that go into a car and go. Uh, gasoline, oil, windshield washer fluid, antifreeze, uh, water. Because you got to blend the antifreeze. <laughs> Correct. You got five. We're going to give you nine out of ten. You've only missed one so far in this whole game. Uh, you're out in first place at 17 points. We're going to move over to Wise into the hot seat. Wise, are you ready for the hot seat? Yes, sir. Wise, name the bling-covered character played by Mr. T in the A-team. B.A. Baracus. B.A. B.A. Baracus. Keep in mind, B.A. is what I'm looking for. Parts of Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Utah make up which region of the U.S.? I'm sorry, what was that? What was the question? <laughs> Parts of Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, Utah make up which region in the United States? Oh, man. I don't know, a uh, mountain? It is. I'm looking for the Southwest. What's, okay. Southwest. Ah, didn't think. Which word is used for the letter D in the NATO phonetic alphabet? <laughs> Remember, you can thank Adina for picking the order. Uh, <laughs> She's happy now. Look at <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't know. It is Delta. Oh, Delta, Delta for the letter D. And complete the famous slogan from a World War II propaganda poster, blank we stand, divided we fall. United we stand, divided we fall. United we stand is correct. Wise, what ties together BA, Southwest, Delta, and United? Airlines? They are all airlines. That is correct. And your name five bonus question. Wise, name five flavors of jelly and go. Of jelly? Jelly. Raspberry, grape, strawberry, uh, apricot, um, damn, uh, orange. Um, you got five uh, orange marmalade one of my favorites with a cranberry or not a cranberry with a english muffin let's go to that scoreboard wise you're taking down five and eight points total you missed two you're right there in second place which means adina the last to sit in the hot seat you picked the order you you dealt uh i don't know what it's not like you gave them their medicine they did pretty good but you have a chance to take all 10 points. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's get, we'll never know until we get started. Well, let me, let me give my excuse ahead of time. <laughs> to the, the toddler that I mentioned hasn't <laughs> slept well in like months. So we haven't slept well oh. in months. I, I can't remember the last time I actually slept a whole like, night. <laughs> so the fact that I'm actually upright and not like horizontal is, is kind of night is amazing. <laughs> You're Amazing. doing great, and there's 45 points in the last round. So okay. everybody's still going to be in this. Adina, okay. what shape is a crucifix? A cross. A cross is correct. Yes. The area mm -hmm. in the Atlantic Ocean where several planes have mysteriously disappeared is called the Bermuda Blank. Triangle. Triangle is correct. If you're using pi in math, what mm. shape are you most likely to be dealing with? A circle. Circle is correct. What does the Italian word piazza 
and the Spanish word plaza mean in English? Square. Square is correct. And what ties together cross, triangle, circle, and square? They're all shapes. Geometry. Oh, shapes. Uh, uh, <laughs> they are shapes. That I'm looking for a little more specific. Oh. This is gonna be. I'm gonna get a wait. boo on this one. Uh oh. Oh wait a second. Wait a second. Cross, <laughs> square, triangle. When all four, they are all shapes. But when okay. they're all four together, what puts all four of those together? I'm by the face I'm getting from Moxie. I think I'm gonna award you this point. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Are you, are you including a cross and an X as the same shape? Um. Because yeah, uh, I, I, I suspect say. that she's picturing a very a tall kind of cross with the crossbar at the top. <laughs> we'll say X triangle circle square, but I, I, it's, a, it's a bad question. I think I'm still going to give you the point for shape. Oh, wait, 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 but, wait. Wait. The Sony logo. Uh, close. Um, it's close. a PlayStation, PlayStation controller. PlayStation. You got it. You got it anyway. Very good. You took five for five on that round. And <sighs> your name five bonus question. That was exhausting. <laughs> Name five bonus. I'll read okay. the category. You'll have 10 seconds. Adina, name five flavors of Pop-Tarts and go. Cherry, strawberry. There's a, a s'mores. What other flavors do you need? <laughs> Three. <laughs> you, need? Um, you forgot my favorite, brown sugar cinnamon. Oh. <laughs> that that would be delicious. Um, I'm sorry, I'm stuck on cherry. If it's not a cherry pop tart, I mean, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go to that scoreboard. Look, it's you brought back eight points in there. We have Moxie with 17, Wise with 16, Adina with 12. But this is where it gets absolutely crazy. I have 15 questions prepared. Each question is worth three points. I've asked each of my guests to bring a buzzer tonight. And just so everybody at home know, knows who is who, uh, let's see, uh, Moxie had her buzzer up first, so let's hear yours. <laughs> That's an intense bell. <laughs> I'm, I'm told it's an elephant bell for the oh. viewers uh, who are listening and not looking. It's almost the size of my head. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> and Adina, what is your buzzer tonight? I've got goats. Remember to put it near your mic. Oh, wait. My, that's the camera. I told yeah. you, lacking sleep. Mic. It's okay. There we go. We have goats. We have a bell in wise. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the comedy drums. The rim oh, shot. The rim shot. All right. So in this category, in this final round, it's called three, two, one buzzers. So I'm going to read you a very vague question. Who am I? What am I? Where am I? And I want you to Tell me who I am, what I am, where I am. And I'll do that by reading a set of three clues. If I read you the first clue and you buzz in, that's worth three points. The second clue is worth two points. And the last clue is worth one point. Buzz in and you're right, you're going to earn the points. Buzz in and you're wrong, we're going to subtract those points. So you want to be fast. You want to be accurate. And you also need to know one very important rule. You can buzz in multiple times just because if you buzz in and you're wrong you can buzz in again and be wrong again i don't stop you the more you're wrong the better the fans at home love you we love <laughs> negative scores on this show and uh, we have a great time wait quick quick point clarification okay so if i guessed on the first one and got it wrong but then guessed on the second one and got it right am i getting the two points, two points minus the one point no, you're still you're three. still You'll, yeah, you'll lose three, and then you'll get two back. So you'll get, only lose one. So only lose one. Or oh, you could lose five nasty. if you're really – Yeah. <laughs> we already have a, a team negatives already coming in here. Again. <laughs> I've watched right. enough QI. I would be proud to be part of team negative. <laughs> All right, here we go. Buzz in when you're ready. I'm looking for a popular brand of footwear. Which popular footwear brand? Their rubber company was founded in 1908 – and they released their first shoe in 1917. Thinking shoes. That was going. it, huh? That was all you get on that one. Yeah. What was the question? I'm sorry. I, was, know, I know lots of shoe brands. Which popular footwear brand? The Rubber Company, 1908, was founded. First shoe, 1917. Our second clue for two points. 
The iconic brand is a subsidiary of Nike since 2003. Ooh. Would, who, who would Nike buy? They wouldn't buy some Why, why are you saying Nike? Nike? Like? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about the missiles. <laughs> Those are still Nikes, aren't they? Are they Nike missiles? I'm going. I'm going to resort to the scientist on that one. I'm not, I do satellites. So I don't do. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nike shoes. Uh, in 2003, and our third clue for one point, starting in 1921, basketball player Charles H. Chuck Taylor worked as the <laughs> brand ambassador. I heard Wise. Converse. Converse is correct. Wise with the first point. Got one there for you. Also, I will pronounce words like I'm from Pittsburgh because I am from Pittsburgh and we don't say anything right. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I'm looking for a decade of the 20th century. So one of 10 choices here. I've already narrowed it down. That was a free clue. Comet hail -bop was visible to the naked eye. I heard Moxie. Okay, I don't know about naked naked eye, but I knew that came up a lot during the 1990s. Which was it? The 90s. Oh, 1990s is correct for three points. Our third question tonight, I'm looking for a mineral. Which mineral? Its commercial mining began in Quebec and an important mining town was named after it. Moxie. Asbestos. Asbestos. That's how I would say it, too. Three more As points for too much British television. There's also a lovely little Canadian town called Dildo. I recommend oh. everyone visit. Uh, you can, uh, if, you're go, if you're traveling north through Pennsylvania, stop at Middlesex. <laughs> no, that didn't work. I thought that joke would work. Well, Pennsylvania has intercourse oh, and yeah. blue balls, so already the bar is set very high. We just have frog level. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. Our fourth question tonight, which American city? It is the third most popular city in the U.S. of A. This is a city in the U.S. of A. Third most popular. Our second clue, which if you're paying attention to our trivia game last night, the famous Route 66 ran from there to los angeles i i think i heard it was that moxie's bell that was moxie's bell yeah uh, <laughs> moxie bell <laughs> uh, i believe it is the city with the big shoulders chicago chicago is correct sorry y'all super nerd is out <laughs> off the chain today <laughs> that's okay and i'm looking for a river which river its name is part of the title of Arthur Penn's Western with Jack Nicholson and Marlon Brando. Ooh. That's a tough one. I'll go to the second clue. It passes through Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri. I have a map up there, but I can't read it. <laughs> no looking at the map. <laughs> I, I can't read it. I, it does, doesn't I mean, I, I think I see it. Our third clue. I'm going to the third clue for one point. Together with the Mississippi, it forms the fourth largest river system in the world. I read it in one of the state's names. <laughs> I'll put three seconds. Somebody guess Missouri. I've got a good feeling about that. Anybody? No takers? That, that sounds like it could be. <laughs> you you ring in and get buzz. it. It's all yours. Buzz. Feel free to buzz. Uh, I will accept the buzz after the time. If you want to say Missouri after the buzzer, I could give you or take away a point. Do you want to say Missouri? I wish I could read it. Gosh, darn it. No. Oh, and that's time. The answer is... Missouri. It was Missouri. <laughs> All right. Which American state? Sticking with America. America. Its economy relies on natural gas, fishing, and the oil industry. 
I heard goats. I think I heard goats first. Alaska. Alaska for three points. Swinging for the fences is correct. Correct. Yay. Let's go to that scoreboard. I haven't done an update in a little bit. I owe two more points to Moxie. She has eight. Adina on the board in the third round and wise with one. We got a game because we still have at least a bunch of points left for me to add. It's too late to do math. And I'm looking for a popular actor. A popular actor. In 1972, he starred alongside Bruce Willis in Way of the Dragon. Did you say the right Bruce? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was well, I'm sorry. It was before Moonlighting and uh and Die Hard. It was Bruce Lee. <laughs> I always get those two confused. <laughs> it happens, you know, it just happens. In 1972, he starred alongside Bruce Lee in Way of the Dragon, or as I would say, Hawaii. Hawaii of the Dragon. I'm gonna take a take a punt here. Oh, Moxie with the punt. Uh, it was Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, American Treasure, is correct for three more points. I'm looking for a global event. Which global event? This day is celebrated in the spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the summer hemisphere. That could still be any any time in three months. <laughs> All right. Our second clue for two points. It was founded by U.S. Senator Gaylor Nielsen as an environmental teach-in. I heard goats on April 22nd, 1970. Earth Day. Earth Day is correct for two points. Yay! We're going to my last page with seven questions remaining. 21 points still on the board. Let me go ahead. I owe Moxie three more points. She's at 11. Adina just picked up two more and is now tied wise in second place. We have an 11-point deficit, but we got 21 points remaining. Let's see how this ends. Which popular TV series? The main character took his alias after the discovery of the uncertainty principle. After the discoverer of the uncertainty principle, Moxie. It's a breaking Bad. Breaking Bad for three points is correct. Heisenberg. <laughs> I'm looking for an edible. If anybody wants to. So am I. Does anybody have any? <laughs> if anybody wants to pre-guess, we, we do have a pre-guess rule. Um, you can pre-guess before I read any clues for double points. So it'll be worth six points if anybody wants to guess which edible. And it could be a trap if you've seen the show before. <laughs> yeah, we know you're a trap. <laughs> All right, well, here, let's hear the first clue. Let's see what happens. This red, green, and brown edible is rich in fiber and used extensively in coastal cuisines, especially China, Korea, and Japan. You said red, green, and brown? Red, green, brown. Red, green, brown. It's an edible. Come in those colors. I think of a lot of things. Our second clue for two points. It is a marine algae. How specific does the name have to be? Very vague. Very vague. Okay. Moxie. Seaweed. Seaweed for two points is correct. Seaweed's an algae? Is that oh, okay? I, I learned to, something new today. <laughs> that's that's what that's the whole name of the show. Stuff I never knew until you come on the show, then you learn a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I think that's how we came up with the name. Which world capital? I'm looking for a world capital. Its name means Eastern Capital. A moxie with the Sorry, confident guys. bell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting to feel bad about this. Uh, Tokyo. Okay. Tokyo is correct with three points. And bonus fact, Kyoto meant Western, well, still means Western capital. It's just not the Western <laughs> capital anymore. That's what I do. The last time we had you on your show, I love every answer came with a bonus fact, which is, <laughs> which you would expect from your brain on facts. I just want to make sure you get your money's worth. 
I am getting paid for this tonight, right? Yeah, I'm looking for a celestial body. It's a celestial body. It is around 190 times bigger than the Earth. It's somewhere in outer, it could be anything in outer space, 190 times bigger than the Earth. Adina's thinking. I, well, because uh, again, <laughs> not brain not working super well. I've got narrowed it down. I just need one more. <laughs> one more clue. Hands on the buzzers. It consists mainly of hydrogen and helium. Oh, did Wise sneak in there? Wise. I think Wise. <laughs> Wise. Uh, the sun. The sun for two points is correct. Was that your initial guess, Adina? Well, yeah, I was I was wondering, because again, not thinking the saw, you know, like one, 190, like, is that the right number? So is it Jupiter, Saturn, or the sun? You know, it wasn't. Was it a hundred percent sure? I didn't want to lose the points. And we're going to our last three questions of tonight. I'm looking for a famous awards ceremony. Anybody want to pre-guess after three Oscars? Questions? Wait, <laughs> no. uh, Oscars for double points is. Correct, correct. Yay. You went for it. You got six points swinging for the fences. Let's see how does that change the score. Let's pull up the scoreboard. Wise is going to go to nine points. He's made it within a nine point game, but we have two questions remaining. So let's see how that pans out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm looking for a famous Hollywood star. Any pre guesses after? After anything, all right. He is also a musician, and his debut album is called The Return of Bruno. I thought we didn't, we didn't talk didn't. about Bruno. Yeah, we, there you go. There's no, one. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, our second clue. John McClain is his most famous role. Bruce I Willis, gave it to I knew, I knew, I knew it before. I just, I just did. oh, the guy, the guy from Enter the Dragon. The guy. Yeah, yeah. Now, did I do that on purpose? That's the question. Bruce Willis for two points is correct. He never I, actually said it. Who wise? Yeah. No, wise answered. He answered Bruce Willis. Okay, I was like, because we all, we all, yeah, we all knew it. I was like, yeah, he definitely. Still get the point. I just didn't actually hear you say it because I thought oh, yeah. you went on the fact that you totally knew the answer. We were laughing. I think I was laughing too hard. I wish I would have actually. I, I wonder if because I wrote the questions, I thought Bruce Willis, but I didn't actually <laughs> plan that. But it was a, that would have been the perfect time for the pre guess. And luckily, our last question of the night which American podcast? We're looking for an American podcast. The first three episodes debuted. December 19th, 2015. December 19th, 2015. Our second clue. This podcast has never taken outside money from advertisers or corporate sponsors. No. I have a suspicion, but... Uh... And I wouldn't want to go off half cocked. Our third clue this trivia game show podcast is the one you are on right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wise. Get it, you gotta get um, the full title. The, the, the full entitled title. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um he said it a minute ago when he was schooling I me. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I, I, I should know the name of the title. I've been here plenty of times. Quick, do a Google image uh, search for the it? logo. No, it's um things uh things you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're we're taking the audio from this clip for sure. This is gonna be a sound bite. Oh man, I, I know the answer. <laughs> uh isn't it things you don't things you don't know? No. Like, oh, no. oh my god. Anything any other guesses? Uh I know that yeah, I just can't right now. It's brain freeze. No, it's, it's hard to. 
I can't. That's sometimes stuff I never knew. Trivia game. <laughs> there it is, wise man. <laughs> I want to thank my guests tonight. I had so much fun. Adina, Moxie, and Wise <sighs> threw it all tonight. Moxie uh, is our is our winner tonight. Well played. Very aggressive on some of the early questions and really build up that lead. Moxie, well played. Congratulations. This is where I turn the show over to my guests. I let them plug, promote, talk about whatever they want to talk about. Moxie, since you won, you get the floor first. Well, follow Your Brain on Facts on your favorite podcast app or visit yourbrainonfacts.com. You can check out my voice work at moxielabouche.com. And for God's sake, follow me on TikTok at moxielabouche. Very good. Thank you so much, Moxie. Congratulations, two-time champion. Uh, we're gonna, we'll note that in the historical record of the show. Over to Wise, I think I uh, came in second. Yes, I think I did. The floor is yours. Uh, check out my podcast, Stuck in My Mind Podcast, on all major platforms, YouTube, Spotify. Um, check out Real Wise Productions at realwiseproductions.com. And definitely check out the radio station at realwiseradio.com. And download the app on or on Apple and Google. Awesome. And Adina. First, I want to say if we did this at five in the morning, that that is my time. That's when my brain is working. Five in the morning. I, I've I've got this all. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, sometimes I do shows uh with some fans in Australia, and they would love a 5 p.m. show if we did a 5 a.m. show. So I'm in. Five uh, <laughs> 5 a.m. is my my time of day. I, I am absolutely 100 percent in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Adina Mignona, and I'm one of the hosts of the Big Sci-Fi Podcast, and also author, science fiction author of Crazy Foolish Robots, and soon, Robots, Robots Everywhere. You can find these on Amazon. That's it. Awesome. Don't forget, Moxie, you can hold up hold up your book, too. You got Your Brain on Facts with two-thirds original content. Uh, the rest you can find on the Your Brain on Facts podcast, adinamignona.com, Crazy Foolish Robots, Wise production stuck in my mind podcast stuck is it stuck in my mind 2020.com is that correct uh yes i got the even know i even know the url i want to thank my guests tonight this was so much fun thank you for joining me on the main stage of the trivia and games summit until next time <laughs>